Hey Paul, what's that plant? Well Scott, this is another Protea and uh, this one was really hard to grow. This is actually my third attempt at a King Protea. Uh, Protea cineroides, cineroides, something like that. But uh, King Protea, there's many kings, dwarf kings, but this is the Protea, uh, it's the largest Protea flower of any Protea. It's super beautiful, as you can see it's not blooming, but I just wanted to share this plant, and as you can see it's, I mean, I've tried it in full sun, I've tried it in a lot of different uh, places in our yard, and it just seems to really do best, and kind of being filtered sunlight the entire day. Um, the heat is really what's gotten this, but if you look down here, you can see that the it's three years old. This is where I bought it, it was this tall, and then it grew this much the next year. You can see right there, and then the following uh, this year so far it's grown that far, so I'm hoping it's going to branch out. I can't wait for it to bloom. The, the blooms are as big as like a dinner plate. They're huge. Um, and you have to Google it and a very, very beautiful, delicate flower. So King Protea, um, no, no uh, phosphorus or nitrogen. Um, these never fertilize it. They like poor soil. Uh, South African native. This thing's hardy to I think 28 degrees. Um, and in the summertime you want to wet the root ball. Uh, I can't wait for this plant. It eventually will grow three to five feet tall, so a little bit taller, and then it's going to branch out three to four feet. Um, attracts a lot of pollinators. Those flowers are huge, pink, uh, pale pink. It's a really beautiful color, and um, and it's just a great plant. So King Protea, uh, give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep some more uh, Protea videos coming up. We have several, um, a couple new varieties we've gotten. So uh, give us a like, give a subscribe. Have a great day. Bam. King Protea. Dude, it's creepy.